recall television had been put in the closet for the duration of the war. In 1947, it escaped, and soon it was all over the country. Paramount had an experimental television station right across the street from where I was making a movie, and they asked me to MC the first commercial television broadcast ever. I decided to take the plunge into the new medium because of a sensational technical advance. They offered money. Gosh. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Bob, first commercial television broadcast, Hope, telling you gals who've tuned in, and I want to make this emphatic, if my face isn't handsome and debonair, please blame it on the static. <laughs> Which one do I look at? Milton Burrow was the very first with a weekly network variety show. He wowed the television audience and was an overnight success. He was followed by other greats, like Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Jackie Gleason, the great one. Danny Thomas in one of the first sitcoms, Make Room for Daddy. The early television heroes were all Western stars, like Hopalong Cassidy, Gene Autry, Roy Rogers. So, in 1955, Danny and I did a sketch about them. Why, you miserable little burp. Why? <laughs> Don't move, I got the drop on you. <laughs> you better back up. If we ever lock bumpers, we're dead. <laughs> You got a holster for that weapon? <laughs> Burl had become known as Uncle Milty, but we did a sketch together that made him look more like Auntie Milty. Only my draft board knows for sure. <laughs> like Pancho Villa after a bad Mexican dinner. Ole! Ole! Muy bueno, senorita. Mm. Never have I seen such a wild dance before. <laughs> Gracias, senor. <laughs> the dance is called the Flamenco Cantata La Sienica Coenga. <laughs> what does that mean? It means I put my girdle on upside down. <laughs> You know, when, when we weren't doing sketches in those early days, I never really had to wear much makeup. Bob, you wore more makeup than Tammy Baker. <laughs> Gary Tyler! Gary Tyler! Gary Tyler! Gary Tyler! Danny, how could you say that? I never wore a lot of makeup. You wore more makeup than Tammy Baker. <laughs> Hey, thief of bad gags. What? I just told that joke. I knew I heard it somewhere. <laughs> Welcome. You know, I asked you guys to drop by because most of our audience doesn't know much about the early days of television. Are you kidding? We, we didn't know much about it either, but we did it anyway, Bob. <laughs> My first TV show was called Make Room for Death. Oh, wonderful. Oh, that was a great show. You played sort of a... <laughs> That's right. That was a great show. You played sort of a Lebanese Bill Cosby. Yes. <laughs> Which reminds me, Danny, I saw a rerun of uh, Make Room for Daddy last night yeah. and laughed. <laughs> I thought I'd never start. <laughs> never, never start. What's the matter, Milky? Was your pantyhose bunching up on you? <laughs> You're just jealous because I was such a big star in the 50s, that's all. I was known as Mr. Tuesday Night. Especially by your wife. <laughs> Look, uh, hook nose. What hook nose? <laughs> Quiet, or I'll tell everybody, I'll tell St. Jude that you miss mass. <laughs> that's what I mean. Yeah, well, why you Your show was called the Texaco Star Theater, wasn't it? That's true. That was back in the old days when we still had gas to sell. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know, I don't know if you guys knew that, that we stayed on the air for eight years. 
Yeah. Oh, then you ran out of ratings. Yeah. <laughs> no, I ran out of costume jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> but I did, I did enjoy slipping into a set of frillies once in a while, dancing around. <laughs> Most guys just move to Canada to avoid the draft. Would you like a clutch purse shoved up your nose? <laughs> you going with the nose, Joseph. You know what's the matter with you? What's the matter? You just saw it because I'm wearing your old one. Oh, yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't argue with me. What do you mean, don't argue? I'll argue with you anytime. Don't push me. Please, 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 please. Wait, 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 please. What's the matter? We'll have no violence. This isn't a baseball game, you know. <laughs> Boy, I, I, I was just thinking, I miss the good old days. I don't know about you, Danny. It was all live television. It was challenging. Exciting and, oh, so unpredictable. Oh, you didn't rehearse either, huh? <laughs> I tell you, they were really great shows and great stars back then. People watch Burl, Ed Sullivan, I Love Lucy, Make Room for Daddy. Hey, how about me? Oh, yeah, Bob Hope watched those shows, too. <laughs> you know, Bob, in those days, we were real pioneers. That's right. You know, all the people on TV today are standing on the shoulders of giants. Yeah, and you've got no idea how much trouble it is getting out of bed in the morning with Dom DeLuise on your shoulders. <laughs> after, after DeLuise ate a ten-course breakfast. <laughs> after De DeLuise ate a ten-course breakfast. <laughs> it's only an hour show. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> with with Jenny, Jenny Craig, Craig on his shoulders. Shut up! Now, you two are part of the Mount Rushmore of comedy, and I want to thank both of you for what you did for the early days of television. Well, likewise, Bob, and I think you're doing a wonderful thing for the country tonight. Yeah, what thing is that? I don't know. I just thought it sounded good. <laughs> Anyway, I enjoyed it, Bob, and, and, and bless you. Oh, thank you, Your Holiness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, too. Milton Bob and Danny Tanner.